What is going on guys welcome back in today's video we're going to take a look at how to visualize the bitcoin price in python and we're also going to take a look at the other cryptocurrencies so let us get right into it all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install a bunch of libraries that we're going to need the first one is going to be pandas data reader so we're going to open up a terminal pip install pandas dash data reader this is the library that we're going to use to get the data from the yahoo finance api then after that we're going to say pip install matplotlib this is the basic visualization library of python and after that we're also going to install mpl finance this is optional but if you're interested in candlestick charts mpf mpl finance if you're interested in professional looking candlestick charts i recommend you also install mpl finance so what we're going to do now is we're going to import those libraries so import pandas data reader as web we're going to import matplotlib no, not mavox uh, matplotlib dot pyplot as plt and we're going to import mpl finance as mpf as mpf like that um and now what we want to do is we want to specify what cryptocurrency we're interested in so we're going to say uh crypto i don't know crypto equals BTC in this case for Bitcoin and then we're going to say currency so the actual currency that we're going to compare it to because you need to you cannot just say I want to know how much Bitcoin is you need to say okay I want to know how much dollars Bitcoin is or how much euros Bitcoin is so we're going to compare it to the dollar USD and then we're going to say data equals web dot data reader and here we're going to pass an F string which is the cryptocurrency so the crypto ticker dash the currency that we use now it's very important that uh, you use capital letters here because you cannot just type usd lowercase at least i think you cannot do it so the result of this is actually something like btc something like btc usd like that um, once we have that we also need to specify the yahoo finance api as a source here and we can also specify dates for this we need to say import date time as dt and we can specify a range so we can say start equals dt date time um, dt date time we can say okay from 2020 first of january up until now so end equals dt dot date time dot now which is the latest moment right now and once we have that we need to, to pass start and end here and if we have that we can just go ahead and print this so we can just print the data to see what it looks like uh, i'm going to do this in cmd here so actually python main py and if we didn't make any mistakes this should show us the prices take some time as you can see we got high low open close uh, what we're actually interested in is the close value so the last value of a particular day now today is the 30th of january so this is today's uh current price and uh yeah that's essentially it so uh what we're going to do now is we're going to plot this in a basic line chart in matplotlib and for this we're just going to say plt plot data but not just data but data close like that and then we're going to say plt.show and once we have that we're just going to again run this and we're going to see a basic line chart um as you can see you can you can definitely see what's happening here you can definitely see the price movements but it's not the same as using a professional candlestick chart so we're going to replace this by uh saying mpf.plot and we're going to plot the whole data because for a candlestick chart for those of you who don't know what a candlestick chart is i have a tutorial i have actually two tutorials on candlestick charts here uh they're actually one one unit one candle uh shows you the open value the low value the high value and the close value and you can also see the volume in a candlestick chart uh, in the bottom if you want and we're just going to do a basic candlestick chart without any specifications here and we're going to see what this looks like and then we're going to add some styling and some volumes um so this is the basic candlestick chart um or actually this is i don't think that this is a candlestick chart so we need to specify that if we want a candlestick chart we need to say type equals 
candle like that, and then we'll get uh, we're going to get a, a candlestick chart. Um, and you're going to see that the color scheme is quite well ugly. I think uh, we can just zoom into a time period here. And you can see that those are candles, those are candlestick charts. I believe that white is an upwards movement and black is a downwards movement, which means that white, uh, this is the open value, this is the close value, and in a black one, this is the open value and this is the close value. Uh, but we can now also add some stuff here like uh, a style. We can say the style of this shall be the Yahoo Finance uh, style. And we also want to have uh, the volume. So we're going to say volume equals true like that and then we should get a better looking chart of the bitcoin price there you have it so now you can see how much trade happen on individual days you can zoom into periods you can analyze them um you can you can look at the movements you can do some chart techniques here technical analysis stuff uh, you can look at the volume here. You also have the labels. You can see that the they shared the x axis, so the the dates actually move with them. If I zoom into that period here on the upper chart, you can also see that it zooms down on the volumes or it zooms in on the volumes. Now, in candlestick charts, you usually only plot one one cr uh, currency, but if you're interested in in multiple currencies, you can also say something like. Um, we could say not data, but we can say BTC here. We can copy that line. We can change this to Ethereum here. Uh, we can actually, instead of passing crypto for now, we can say ETH dollar, and then we have both of them. And then we just say PLT dot uh, plot, and we can say Bitcoin label equals BTC. We can copy that. We can plot Ethereum, the label being Ethereum, and then we can say plt.legend. And the location is going to be upper left and plt.show. And I think we're actually not plotting Bitcoin, by the way, we want to plot Bitcoin close price. And we also want to pl uh, plot the Ethereum close price like that. And now if we run this, uh, actually, if you run this, uh, we should be able to see two lines and a legend that explains which line is which line, as you can see here. Now, probably you would be more interested in a logarithmic scale because Bitcoin is just way more expensive than Ethereum. So I think, let's improvise. I think that the command for this is actually plt.y y scale uh, lock like that. So we should get a logarithmic scale here. I'm not sure. Let's see if it happens. But I believe so. Yeah, as you can see, the scale is now logarithmic. We have 10 to the power of 2, 10 to the power of 3. So we have 100, 1,000, 10,000, and so on. And you can see that the movements are quite similar. Uh, and you can add some more uh, cryptocurrencies here. You can make a list of them. You can uh, specify another currency. Maybe we're not interested in a dollar. We're interested in a euro. We want to know how many euros, how much euros uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum are. And then we can check that out as well. Now, the movement is actually quite similar, obviously, but compared to the euro, it's just a different value because the euro slightly differs from the dollar and they have their own fluctuations and so on. But this is how you visualize cryptocurrencies, the Bitcoin price, the Ethereum pi uh, price in Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. I plan on making some more videos on financial analysis and cryptocurrency analysis in the future. Some stuff like correlations, seeing how much the individual fluctuation, fluctuations and percentage uh, changes uh, correlate. So when Bitcoin rises, does Ethereum or Litecoin also rise or are they actually... Uh, the opposite. So when Bitcoin rises, Litecoin falls or something, we can analyze that with Python. If you're interested in such videos, let me know in the comment section down below. Other than that, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. And other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.